All right, good evening. We are flying this evening from Savannah, Georgia to Newport News in Virginia. We are currently inbound on the Hamza approach. Reconfirm that. Excuse me, Hasba approach into runway 25 left, which happily enough for us has a ILS. Tune the frequency of the ILS at 110.1. Bumping around here. What the heck is going on? My goodness. Leveled out at 2500 per ATC instruction. See, right now we are in our arc, making a wide right turn. Back out a little bit, you can see. Whoops. There you go. See, we're going to. The Hasba approach. Steve, per the air nav chart, says we need to be at 2,000 at Steve. Now, I have noticed that it seems like uh, these air nav approaches or these approaches that you load and activate through the FMS seem to. Um, I know in a previous video I'd said that they bring you in high. In, 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 upon further reflection, it seems clear that they actually order you to very low altitudes uh, for quite a long time during the approach. In other words, I feel like I am like clipping people's rooftops practically for a long time. Now I'm not going to complain because, at the very least, I figured out. How to handle an approach. Uh, this is the ongoing. Uh, the, 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 I don't remember which trip, but I've come from LA all the way here over many trips LA, Vegas, Salt Lake City, Telluride, Albuquerque, Austin, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, Key West, Miami last night, from Miami to Savannah today. Savannah to Newport News this evening, and we're inbound at this point at uh, runway 25, which is an approach course of 247. Uh, again, you see here on our MFD, we need to be at 2000 at Steve. There's Steve right there. God, look at that moonlight. God, that's incredible. Holy mackerel. Um, and we're at 2,500 right now. So, again, I mean, plenty of time, plenty of altitude. We're currently one nautical mile from our next waypoint, which is Uniform Sierra Romeo. Uh, and then, wait a minute, just change. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, you can see that at the very least, Steve is a considerable distance away from where we are, and yet we're at 2,500 feet, only 500 feet above uh, the approach altitude, according to airnav.com, for this airport, KPHV Kilo Papa Hotel Foxtrot. So, most of my approaches lately have been RNAVs, but this one has an ILS. So, I, my plan, anyway, God help us, is to switch here to the TFD screen, switch this from FMS to NAV. Oh boy, I can't remember. What did I. Did I program it? The ILS frequency is 101.1. So, I've already pre-programmed that in. It's ready to go. Uh, however, uh, God, the mouse was nuts. The mouse, excuse me, the plan then is to switch this from FMS to NAV1 once we get to Hasba because we'll be 
on the center line. That is, we'll be on the final approach to Papa Hotel Foxtrot. I will not do that, however, until I get clearance from ATC to approach and land. So once I do, however, I will switch that to NAV1 and then go over to APR for approach. And then, God willing, it grabs the glide slope. And this time I actually get to use a glide slope, not a glide path. And we'll see if it captures it. Uh, luckily for me, it's a clear night, so if I have to dump the IFR and fly it in visually, I will. But turn on our landing lights at this point. We're about ready to deploy our landing here, but I figure why not have the lights on and ready uh, once the gear come down. We're still waiting here from ATC. Speed at this time, 164 knots, probably need to slow it down here a little. Altitude still maintaining 2500 because that's what I was cleared down to. Altimeter is 2982, 29.82. Uh, if they update that for me, which I presume they will, on uh, final, I'll uh, make the correction here so we have the right altitude. Alt or, uh, airspeed dropping now as predicted, the reduction in throttle. I'm going to pop up here on the seat. I bet you a dollar when we do so, we will see the runway in front of us. There it is. 2-5 ILS, allegedly. We'll see. There's Steve, dead ahead. We are, at this time, only 2.9 nautical miles from Steve, at which point we are... According to the approach chart from airnav.com, it's supposed to have a two, it's supposed to be a 2,000 MSL. So I'm waiting. Air traffic control, where are you? Zoom in here a little bit more on the. Okay, here comes Steve. Just 1.5 nautical miles. I would expect to hear from ATC soon because if we cross Steve at 2500 instead of 2000 then we're going to have to descend a little bit faster than one might otherwise prefer but I was cleared to 2500 and that is it. I don't know what the MDA is for this area but it's as flat as a poker table so I'm not particularly worried. Our airspeed down to 129 Still have no flap deployment, gears not down. Where is ATC? Hello, guys, attention. Earth to ATC. Am I allowed to land? Yes or no? Take two seconds to comment on just how unbelievable this game is, or this sim is. Graphics. I have mine set at high, default high. I've not tinkered with anything else. Uh, and, uh, hey, listen, I mean, thus far, no complaints. Good grief. I mean, holy smokes. Well, um, we still have no clearance. So, I'm um, wondering. Hey, guys, uh, should I just fly over the runway or what? Well, here's where we take uh, the initiative and chalk it up to uh, lousy uh, issues. Yeah, see, so here you go. We've got the ILS, and the blue, the green diamond here indicates that we are we need to descend. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I was sleeping or something. Uh, when, whoops. Relax, honey. Maybe I was sleeping or something when I got clearance to land. But anyway, gear down, flaps one notch. Now, call me crazy, but I'm thinking we are going to have a hell of a descent here. I'm taking control of the airplane. Holy smokes! We can't do that. Who am I kidding? Uh, Alright, 
no, I can't do that. All right. Okay, so I have control of the airplane. We're going to deal with the situation. Gear up. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. I'm going to do a missed Landing approach. Gear. Landing gear. Honey, the gear's Landing coming gear. up. Relax. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Oh, I have it. Landing gear. Oy Landing vey. gear. Ah, it's because of the flaps. Okay, so we know that our approach course was, um, what was it, two, what did I say it was, two, four, seven? So I'm just going to, I don't know what happened. I don't know what the problem was. I mean, this is uh, a mess in some ways. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to check in with ATC. Yeah, see what it says there? Descend and maintain 2,000. 2,000. Maybe because I never got down to 2,000? I wonder if that's it. All right, I got an idea. Let's try something. Let's descend to 2,000. Get back on that approach path. I know this is completely forbidden, but I'm wondering if, if AI wasn't able to come to grips with the fact that I never got down to 2,000 feet. I mean, could that be it? Interesting. All right, so we're going to basically fly the downwind leg, watch our altitude. I'm going to slowly descend down to 2,000. That might have been my bad. I mean, they descend, they, they cleared me to 2,000. I went down to 2,500. I, I don't know, maybe just, uh, I don't know why I went down. To, maybe I missed the clearance down to 2,000. I'm not sure. So... Turning too far left. All right, so let's uh, fly the downwind leg. This We've got the map there on the right on the MFD, the multi-function display. Hey, look, you got to roll with the punches in Flight Simulator, right? Let's get down to 2,000. We've got our eye on our speed. Speed's fine. 148 altitude, holding steady, nicely trimmed at 2370. But I wanted to send down to 2,000. I'm going to go back out to Steve. All right? And I want to see if... Oh, it's still on 2,500. I want to see if Steve... Let's turn... Let's get the autopilot back on. AP. Let's do heading. Sync to current heading. Autopilot. Relax, relax. Oh, see, that was interesting. It looked like it started to turn back to nav. To intercept the localizer. S altitude select. By the way, can I just comment for a second on the crappy screens being so bright and the lighting inside the cockpit? I mean, my God, look at how bright these screens are. All right, so now we're just going to fly on heading mode basically the downwind. This will be actually be a useful proof of concept because if I can see that I the reason for that failure was that I wasn't at the assigned altitude at Steve. I mean, look, in the real world, they're going to say, hey, buddy, you're supposed to be at 2,000. You're not. But I didn't get any messages. Look, maybe it was my bad. Maybe I should have been 2,000. I was at 2,500. I think my previous descent order or instruction was to 2,500, if memory serves. Regardless, now let's descend using the vertical speed indicator to 2,000. And let's see if crossing Steve at 2,000 gets us landing clearance. That's that's the question. We're going to find out here momentarily. Speed's fine, 150. Slow it down a little bit more. Interesting, by the way, I still have flaps deployed. My bad. The landing gear uh, alarm came in despite the fact that I was not at idle, presumably because I had full flaps deployed. So let's make a left turn and try to intercept God, that mouse wheel is just going to be the end of me. Let's try to intercept 
Steve at 2,000. And that speed. 30 knots. Okay, so here we go. Hold on, don't get excited. I'm trying to intercept it at roughly a 30 degree. Seven seven would be thirty degrees. Okay, now we're at two thousand. So now what I'm going to do is get back on the approach fix, and I'm going to switch back over to nav because you see our CDI is still honed in on the localizer for this runway. So let's go back to nav. Of course, it does the predictable overcorrection to the right even though it's probably not necessary now here we go now you see this see the cdi course deviation indicator it's turning left or it's not turning left, moving left and there we go okay so there's the runway again and now we are at 2000 actually we're at 1900 let's increase our altitude 2000 wheel. God dang it. How about an altimeter, guys? Alright, so we're at 2,000 now. Okay, now, now we're at 2,000 at steep. The last time we did this, we were at 2,500 at steep. Now, my question is, will ATC clear us? Let's see. Now you see here? Here... Now our glide slope's fine. Before we were, uh oh. Now we're still not getting clearance. Nope. Nope. Interesting. So we got a problem here. All right, altitude selection off, approach on. We're gonna just land. Sorry, ATC. Don't put me in jail. I gotta get on the ground. Nobody's talking to me. I'm not getting any info. I should have been. See, this is interesting. Look at this screen. I should have. It said to contact the tower, but I've got ATC on auto, so it did not vector me, or not vector. It did not. The AI did not connect me to the tower. Interesting. Gear down. This is the first time this has happened. Just, I wish I had enough time to 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 go to 118.7. Oh god, this is gonna be. I shouldn't do this. Uh, audio and radios, Navcom. 118.7. Enter. Switch. I tell you, this is. Oh, see, it doesn't, it doesn't, ugh, all right, anyway, flaps, all right, you see, you get to experience the frustration firsthand that I know many of us are, I was not auto-handed off, confirm, three in the green, lights are on, landing lights are on, okay. wow, beautiful, scenery though good grief wow holy smokes so I presume I'm gonna get yelled at by ATC knots are at 80 that probably needs to be a little higher more flaps or no, actually excuse me I already have flaps fully deployed hmm I'm a yeah, puzzle on this as to why I didn't get cleared or why it didn't hand over to tower. Rats. All right, I'll take the aircraft. Autopilot disengaged. Hand flying now. Wow, look at those. Are those floating lights over that stadium or that little field, that park? <laughs> floating lights, that's great. All right, here we go. Oh, that was awesome. You see the lights? Uh, the glow of the lights came in on the inside the cockpit? Up on the flight deck, that's amazing. 
All right, we're good. We've got red over white on the Vossi, just there on the left of the runway. Airspeed's good. Runway 25, confirmed. Red over red, that's okay. We're over the piano keys. Cut, throttle, and flare, flare. All right, take that reverse. Is this the part where ATC yells at me? I don't know. Okay, cut and reverse. They're not going to yell at me because I never went over to that frequency because AI wouldn't let me. So, let's see if I can connect to them. Good grief. All right. All right. Well, party foul. I'm going to stop on the runway, which is major party foul. And this has got to be a first. Cancel IFR from the runway. Washington Center, Day or Tree, Whiskey, Bravo. <laughs> this is Cancel fantastic. Cancel IFR at this time. All right, so now we got to sit through all this nonsense. Day or Tree, Whiskey, Bravo, IFR. No, I don't need to tune Norfolk approach, guys. Squawk 1200. Zero, zero. Well, VFR. it looks like change approved. we're... Okay, there you go. Ground services. Tune ground... No, 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 no. I don't need pushback, guys. Taxi to parking three. Newport News Ground Day or November Tree Four Tree Whiskey Bravo request well, taxi to parking. Day or November Tree Four Tree Whiskey Bravo taxi to General Aviation Parking by Taxiway Cross Runway Seven Cross Runway Two Zero Bravo. Give me there you go. Give me my blue lines. Flaps taxi up. to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Cross Runway Seven well, Cross fellas, Runway Two Zero Bravo. I don't know what to tell you. Tree this, whiskey, uh, Bravo aim is obviously still a work in progress. I've had a lot of luck with uh, these RNAV approaches in the last day or so. I kind of felt like I finally figured it out. Um, it will. I, I, I'll have to puzzle on this as to why it was that I was on final per ATC's instruction. The only thing I can speculate is that I was not at 2000 at Steve. Uh, you like to think that uh, that wouldn't be reason enough to not interact with incoming aircraft whatsoever. Apparently not. Uh, I was at 2,500 2, instead of 2,000 at Steve. I theorize that uh, by reshooting the approach, completely without authorization, by the way, uh, I might... Uh, have had more luck if I had been at 2000 at Steve. Alas, no such luck. Interestingly, I tried, I mean, I was the good soldier. I tried to go to the tower frequency. You saw that. Uh, and of course, I freely concede I may have screwed something up, but I it would not activate. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do? Um, bottom line is, happily enough, I am on the ground safely. We didn't have any real weather tonight. Although, curiously, I mean, even if we had, that approach brought me in at the right altitude, the right direction, the right heading, and the right speed. I, I would have, even at minimums, I think, have had no problem finding the runway. It's just an ongoing sense of frustration, I feel, uh, dealing with some of the ATC quirks and so forth. But listen, what are you going to do? I mean, I'm not going to complain. This game has, I mean, you got to remember, not remember because you don't know it, but I, uh, the first one I played was in 1985, for God's sakes. Uh, I played uh, FS uh, X, I mean, until the cows came home. So to see this, I mean, I, this is the first release. It as yet unpatched. There's going to be improvements to come, but I mean, out of the box like this. I mean, look around. <laughs> Just look around. <laughs> My God, look at this guy. There's Gary, as Chewy would call him. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Complain? I'm not complaining. 
And here we go. There you go. All right. Uh, parking, but it's pitch black in here. Give me a flashlight. I tried Alt L. I tried Alt L. Parking brakes on. Stop the annoying alarm. Uh, go into. Low idle. Stop the annoying alarm. Turn off that. Don't need AP trim anymore. Don't. God, I'm blind. Selector to manual. Uh, panel. Oh, cabin light off. Access light off. No, turn off. Off. I suppose I should... Kill the engine. What are you getting excited about? Alright, I don't know what that is. ITT, what's that all about? Alright. Oh, it's Alarm City around here, man. Alright, um... Dude, relax. Okay, you never thought that turning off an airplane would just trigger so many alarms. Got our flaps up, fuels uh, at, uh, set to off. Um, Master caution. What did I do? What's that say here? Let's just zoom in, make sure. Oil piss eye good. Well, we want it going down, silly. Inertial separator. Turn off those people. We should have turned those off. We didn't need those. Although I did need them during this flight, I would point out. I started the ice up at 31,000 feet. The certified ceiling for this aircraft, I learned. All right. I think we are good, gang. Uh, sorry that it wasn't uh, quite what I was expecting. But hey, listen. That's the way it goes. Ciao.